why I think Remember the Milk is the best choice for a digital task manager. That's what we're talking about today. Hi, this is Frank Buck, and this is the place to be if you want to get organized and make it look easy. 20 years ago, 2001, I made a decision that has significantly impacted my productivity ever since. 20 years ago, I set aside my paper planner in favor of a digital task list and digital calendar. And today we're looking at the journey and why Remember the Milk is my choice today for a task manager. Back then in 2001, I started to see how much communication was coming to me via email and how much other information I was accessing digitally through the internet. So it just seemed to make sense that if information was coming digitally, that we could fashion a way to keep it digital. And it made life so much easier. Over the years, my tools have changed and that's okay because good things are replaced by better things. I've talked and written about that concept often. So sometimes a tool or service ceases to exist and we're forced to make another choice. Other times something better simply steps forward. And this, this video is all about the latter and why I went with Remember the Milk. So let's go back to the beginning. Let's talk about the Palm and Outlook. Are you old enough to remember the Palm? It was that magic device where you wrote on a plastic screen with a stylus and used this strange alphabet called graffiti. The thing that made it magic was the ability to synchronize with your computer. For the first time when you got up from your computer, you were no longer also getting up from your calendar and task list. They were safely in your pocket. As you were out and about, you made changes on the palm. When you returned to your computer, you put the palm in its cradle, pressed a button, and watched the changes made on the palm synchronize with the computer. Then along came the BlackBerry. Around 2006, the school system where I work purchased Blackberries for each principal and central office administrator. The transition was easy. Outlook beautifully synced with the BlackBerry. In just a few minutes, my calendar, task, contacts, and notes from Outlook were showing up on my BlackBerry. Back then, I thought we would all be using Blackberries forever. And when I wrote my first book, I went into detail on topics surrounding the Blackberry and Outlook. After retiring from public education in 2009, I continued to use the Blackberry. Well, those of us who remember the rise of the Blackberry also remember its fall. So in 2012, I saw that it was time to make a move. The choice between Apple versus Android was a tough one, but Google was the king of search and I felt Android was the better choice. I'm sure many will disagree with me while many others agree. And back then, not all parts of Outlook seemed to play well with the iPhone or Android, either one. So I decided to make a move to an all cloud productivity suite consisting of Google Calendar, Toodle Do, Google Contacts, Evernote, and Gmail. In the body of the blog post that accompanies this video, you'll see links to those posts that talk about each of those parts of that productivity system. I loved Toodle Do personally and found it easy to teach. It didn't matter what email program someone else used, they could take a to-do that arrived as an email and forward it to Toodle Do. It was web-based and therefore worked the same on a Mac as a PC. But a change of ownership brought with it a limitation to the free plan. And for me, giving people a free option that's going to work is important. The elimination of being able to email into Toodle Do in the free plan was a deal breaker. So I made the move over to Remember the Milk in October of 2018, I spent the better part of a day kicking the tires on several platforms before deciding on Remember the Milk, and I've not regretted the decision. There's seven elements that I look for in a digital task list. Want an explanation of these essentials and why they're important? Well, in the body of the blog post that accompanies this video, is a link to an interview on Productivity Book Group where Ray Sidney Smith and I discuss the book and includes these seven essentials. 
As I was comparing task managers, Remember the Milk was the clear winner. And here are some of the features that influenced my decision. The first is Smart Add. When adding a task, Remember the Milk allows other elements in that task line. You can add a due date, a due time, priority, person assigned to, and even notes that are going to go in the notes section of that task. This feature is particularly handy when forwarding emails into Remember the Milk. Change the subject line of the email to the name of the task. Add a due date in that subject line, a time, a priority. SmartAd is also incredibly handy when adding tasks via voice. Speak the task and then include the due date, time, even the location. Remember the Milk adds each of those elements to the task. Second, overdue task roll to the next day. How do you handle tasks not completed on the due date? That's been a question in the productivity space for ages. Remember the day timer and Franklin planner days? We would arrow forward tasks and recopy them to future dates. Today, we no longer rewrite. In most digital services, Overdue tasks sit in a special section at the top of the list. But in Remember the Milk, yesterday's unfinished tasks migrate among today's tasks. Yesterday's priority one task joined today's priority one tasks. Yesterday's unfinished priority two tasks join today's priority two tasks, and so forth. The next feature that I was really looking forward to was drag and drop. My tasks appear by due date. I sort the today list by priority. All of my tasks have a due date. I sort my today list by priority. So my fab five are now at the top. And after that are tasks for the morning, tasks for the afternoon, and tasks for the evening. But what if I need further refinement? Well, while viewing the today list, I can change the sort order to drag and drop. Now I can manually place each item at the desired spot by just dragging items. But as it turns out, I really don't need this feature. Using the keyboard shortcuts one, two, three, and four to change a task priority it lets me batch tasks so quickly and easily, I really don't have a need for drag and drop. The next thing I liked was the ability to swipe tasks on the mobile app. Swipe to the right to mark a task complete. Swipe to the left to postpone that task by any desired number of days. Next is the ability to multi-select tasks on the computer or mobile device to bulk edit. And remember the milk? Put a check mark beside a task and it doesn't mark it as done. Instead, remember the milk simply selects that task. Well, if you check more than one task, it selects more than one task. Check as many as desired and then whatever you choose to do with one task, that action applies to all the tasks. So you can change dates, you can change priority, you can make assignments, you can do any of those things. Next is the date time stamp on task notes. The task notes are among the essential seven features that I look for in a digital task manager. But remember the milk takes the feature to a whole new level by date and time stamping the notes. So suppose the task is call Bill and you wind up leaving a voicemail message. Well, you might put that information in a note field of the task to document your call. The automatic date time stamp feature keeps you from having to add that information manually. Next, even in the free plan with Remember the Milk, you have the ability to collaborate or assign tasks to other people. Does someone else in your family or organization use Remember the Milk? Well, create a task and assign it to that person. You'll be able to see what tasks you've assigned have been accepted and which haven't. And you and the other person can even communicate about that task in the task note for that very task that you had assigned to the other person. So the conversation that you have is right there in the task itself. Next, every task has its own URL. 
Sometimes one task needs to refer to another task. Put the URL for one task in the notes section of the other task. And finally, you have a rich assortment of keyboard shortcuts. Power users of any program appreciate not reaching for the mouse. Save time by using as many or as few of the shortcuts as desired. Remember, the milk has been around since 2004. And when I originally chose to do, I also considered Remember the Milk. But Remember the Milk then was not like Remember the Milk now. An impressive upgrade came in 2016. So when I gave this service another look in 2018, what I saw impressed me a great deal. So would you like to make the move as well? If you're using another task manager and want to make a change, in the body of the blog post, I link to an article that walks you through how Remember the Milk, uh, it supports importing tasks from other digital task managers. The page also provides help for importing from other apps and services. I've composed a guide called Using Remember the Milk with the Get Organized System. It's a perk for email subscribers only, but the good news is that you can join today over at frankbuck.org, you'll see a link to join the email list. So if you're still writing to-dos on sticky notes or scraps of paper, recopying lists daily, or just simply trying to remember it all, well, there's a better way. You have everything you need in this post to make that improvement today. Thanks for stopping by today. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and take a look at these two videos right over here. Subscribe to the channel for more videos. This has been Frank Buck, helping you get organized and make it look easy.